Hello and welcome to Arsenal Analyzed. I'm JC. I hope you're doing well. Today I bring you yet another match preview on the channel. Arsenal face Leicester City this weekend for their first Premier League home game of the new season. We'll be covering everything that you need to know before kickoff. So if you are looking forward to today's video, go ahead and smash that like button. And if you're new around here, why not consider subscribing? But without no further ado, let's jump straight into things and have a look at both clubs' recent form. Starting with Arsenal, including pre-season, the last five games, Arsenal have managed to score a total of 17 goals, conceding only one in the process, but also, and more impressively, keeping four clean sheets. Now, the most important thing about these last five games is the most recent fixture away at Crystal Palace, a very tough place to go and play football. Opening fixture of the new Premier League campaign and Arsenal managed to win 2-0. It could have been more, but nevertheless, two goals, a clean sheet and three points on the board. Now, how does this compare to Leicester? Their last five games, they've managed to score a total of 12 goals, one Premier League game and four pre-season fixtures, conceding four, keeping two clean sheets. So some very, very good form as well. Their opening game of the Premier League campaign was against Brentford and it was a 2-2 draw. Not a bad result considering some of the players that Leicester have lost and will potentially lose between now and and the end of the transfer window. But the big question here with regards to form is, will it have a part to play in this upcoming fixture this weekend? Will momentum play a part? And will the history of this fixture play its part as well? Which brings us on to the next point of today's video, the head-to-head -head record between Arsenal and Leicester, a fixture that down the years has been played a total of 100 and 48 times across league and cup competitions. Arsenal do trump Leicester in this department with a total of 70 wins compared to Leicester's 33. However, 45 have ended in a draw. More recently, I would say this fixture falls in favour of Arsenal with the last three, all of which having been in the Premier League, all in favour of Arsenal. Three out of three wins most recently, at the back end of last season, Arsenal managed to win 2-0. The same exact result away from home against Leicester, 2-0, where we saw that fantastic save from Aaron Ramsdale, which got plaudits from some former Premier League goalkeepers like David Seaman and Peter Schmeichel. And going back, way back when, two seasons ago, Arsenal did manage to run out victors away from home, 3-1, the forgotten man scoring one of the goals there you can see in the picture in the bottom right hand corner with Arsenal winning 3-1. With regards to team news, some good news potentially for Arsenal. Last week when I recorded the preview video, we also had Tommy Asu and Kieran Tierney part of this list. But according to the Premier League injury list, they could potentially feature this weekend and we will find out more once Mikel Arteta goes ahead with his press conference. Unfortunately, according to the Premier League injury list, though, Emil Smithrow is still on the injury table, although he is now part of full training along with Fabio Vieira. There is still a niggling injury of the groin, and likewise with Vieira, the ankle for him as well. They may feature on the bench. This fixture could potentially come a bit too soon. Leicester are no pushovers. And Mikel Arteta may opt to wait for a slightly more favourable fixture, which would be the next two after the Leicester game, before risking further injuries to the likes of these two players. Now, again, according to the Premier League injury list, three players that will play no part in this fixture over this coming weekend is Pereira, who is now out for the next six months, having a fairly serious Achilles injury. Ryan Bertrand also out with a knee injury and likewise Harvey Barnes also out with a knee injury. But again, Brendan Rodgers may shed further light on this in his upcoming press conference. But as things stand, 
they are said to not be available, especially the latter two. Having a look at the key danger men, in my opinion, for this fixture, whilst Saliba did get man of the match for Arsenal against Crystal Palace, we're talking danger men. And I do think that Saliba and Vardy is a battle to keep an eye on because Vardy does like to play against Arsenal. However, in terms of two players that I think who have started the season very, very well, and also a player that I'm very excited to see in an Arsenal shirt over the course of the season is Gabriel Jesus. 49 touches, one shot, six out of six completed dribbles, 71 passing completion. But what really impresses me is the fact that he won eight out of 16 ground duels and two out of five aerial duels. We know that he is a fantastic pressing forward. And in that first 15 to 20 minutes against Crystal Palace, I would say that he was very unlucky not to get himself on the score sheet. Hopefully now in front of the Arsenal faithful at the Emirates on Saturday, he can open officially his Arsenal account. That would be absolutely lovely. Now, James Madison had a fantastic campaign for Leicester last season, and it looks as though he will continue in the same vein for this upcoming Premier League season. Although he is being linked with a move away from the club, maybe he's trying to put himself even more in that shop window for the likes of Newcastle. But he had a total of 88 touches, one assist, 84 passing completion, which is top stuff. Even more impressively, five key passes, one out of three successful dribbles and two out of seven successful duels. A player that Arsenal will most certainly need to keep an eye on on Saturday. A player that maybe someone like Thomas Partey will need to keep a very, very close eye on throughout that 90 plus minutes. And finally, my predicted lineup for this game on Saturday. I do think for those of you who have seen the video last week, I've essentially gone with the exact starting lineup to the one that featured against Crystal Palace. I see absolutely no reason to change the starting 11, although Tierney and Tomiyasu are said to be fit for this upcoming fixture. Again, going back to what I said about Emil Smith-Rowe and Fabio Vieira, this is going to be a very tough physical game. And I'd rather not risk the likes of Tierney and Tomiyasu, who are known to pick up injuries quite easily in a game where it will be very physical end to end. Maybe they can come on in that last sort of 20 to 30 minutes to change things up, freshen up the game and get that all-important sharpness as well in the tank. Also, Enketia will be scratching his head as to whether or not he will be featuring in this game as well, signing a new contract over the summer and finishing the season on some very good form, but also playing very well in pre-season. Asking the question of Arteta, what do I need to do in order to make my way into this starting eleven? But let me know down in the comments below. Do you agree with my starting eleven? Should we change it? from the Crystal Palace game? And if so, who would you bring in instead of the 11 names that you can see on screen now? Now, to finish up today's video, I am going to give you a score prediction. And please do let me know down in the comments below alongside your preferred starting 11. How do you see this game unfolding? What is your score prediction? Who do you see scoring goals for Arsenal? And maybe even Leicester. But I'm going to go for Arsenal 2-1 in this game. And I'm also going to go ahead and say that Gabriel Jesus will finally get himself on the score sheet for Arsenal in front of the faithful at the Emirates. That is going to about wrap things up for today's video. Do keep an eye out over the weekend for tactical analysis for this fixture. Hit that like button if you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new around here. For now, I'm JC and I will catch you in the next one. Stay safe and take care.